Hi, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. How are you all doing? Well, we are at the business end of porting our Aussie 302 2V factory iron cylinder heads. That is a mouthful to get that out, but I did it without cocking it up, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to show you guys how I go about uh, thinning down my intake valve guide bosses, these big guys here, okay? Now, what I'm using, I've got my pneumatic die grinder back again guys because I need the long shank carbide for this one it's a tapered carbide burr that I use and I need to use this because I need the long shank and I can't use this long shank carbide in my electric die grinder because it has too much run out it ends up bending uh, the entire shank it's just too because it's a 30,000 rpm die grinder these long shanks you can't put them in uh, high rpm electric die grinders but it works perfectly fine in my pneumatic piss week die grinder. So this is what I'm doing guys. When you bring your long shank uh, tapered die grinder into the intake port, it, the natural way that the intake port comes in on an angle will put you like this, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically cut this in a V. We're gonna cut this down this way, and then we're gonna swap, and we're gonna cut it down this way. Essentially, you know, shaping this into the, like the bow of a boat. I've mentioned that before. Then, of course, once this is all being cut down with the majority of the carbide burr here, then I will get my uh, rotary tool with the flex shaft and the mini stones, and I will smooth it all with the stones. All right, let's uh, thin this boss down. is I've uh, swapped over to my medium shank uh, carbide here that's got the rounded front okay so it's like a it's almost like a cylinder I guess you'd say and I'm going to use this now to come in here and get a little bit of that stuff off the back right and then I'm going to smooth the front of this with this particular with this with this one let's give it a let's give it a whirl <laughs>
we're going to need to clean all the runners of the intake. Um, but all I'll do now is I'll get my little mini tool stone here and I'll go all around the back here, all around the back of the boss here and smooth all of that really nicely. Okay, and then the other thing we need to do is we need to do the bowl blend. All right, so it's a little bit hard for you to see, okay, but basically at the bottom of our uh, valve seat cut here, okay, this is quite a prominent lip. I showed it in the second video, I'm pretty sure. Right around where the cutter has come in to the bowl, it's cut in and then basically it, it, it lays back into the bowl and it's quite a prominent lip right around here, which means that when air comes in here, okay, and it goes to come up, it's going to hit on this ridge the whole way around the top of the bowl here, right? So we're going to blend that into the bowl and I can just simply use my stone, uh, my little mini grinder to do that and to do all of the smoothing of the castings all around the bottom here in the bowl. It will be all with the little stone. Let's go. taking the shoulders off at the back here. That's all I'm doing, taking the shoulders off that valve guide boss. So then it's completely rounded at the back. So then air can flow around this really, really easily. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just give you a slightly better angle there to see what I've done. Take this off uh, locked focus. Okay. Hopefully you can get a bit of a look at that. The shape. Okay, we've in that down quite substantially. Here's another one I've done. You can sort of see this one a little bit better because of uh, the rest of the bowl being completely cleaned up. But that is uh, substantially thinned to what it was. Um, let me get some light in the port entrance and let's do an AB test of one of them that's not done so then you can get an idea of how much it thins it down and how much it will help with uh, airflow around those bosses when they're thinned down. Okay, you can see how lovely and thin that one is that was the, that's one that i've done the runner and everything is completely clean this is the one here we just did all right so obviously we still got to clean off all of the casting material in the runner and smooth the rest of that boss down to get all of those castings off but here's one that hasn't been completed at all very 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 chunky to say the least all right one again, sorry, try to get a focus. Much, much thinner. And then this is one that's got the complete port runner and everything all done. Okay, so quite a substantial difference should um, really help with airflow. Now you can see here, it's gonna give you a better view of that ridge. What I'm talking about with the machined area at the bottom 
where the seed has been cut. That prominent ridge right around there that flows out into the bowl, right? We're gonna smooth all of that and blend it into the bowl so there's no ridge. And that goes right around here to the short side. We're gonna blend all of that so then it's smooth like this one. Okay, this one has been completely smoothed, basically flat. It's hard to see guys with the light, but that's basically flat all the way into the bowl. I've ground that all the way back around there. So then it's almost the same dimensions as the bowl. And that's what we have to do with this one. And again, I will just be using my mini tool to just run right around that and to thin that right down and blend it into the bowl. Then I'll be then I'll be basically cleaning all of these castings up in the bowl completely. All the castings that are still on the front of the boss runner here, okay? This will, the whole boss will be cleaned. Now it's been thinned. And then I'll be using the long shank um, tapered burr to, to go in the front of the runner and clean all of the, clean all the roof, all the floor, and all the sides all the way into the bowl just like this one okay and that's how you do the intake so it's basically very similar to how we did the exhausts the way that we cleaned the exhausts with a combination of the tapered long shank carbide on my pneumatic tool and then uh, i'll try and also smooth the runners after they've been deburred with a stone as far as i can get in and that is it for the intake runners and thinning down the intake valve guide bosses as well as blending the, that, that uh, bottom seat machine cut into the bowl. That's what you'll do. And in the next video, guys, we, are, we will attack um, gasket matching, basically, which there are lots of arguments say absolute waste of time. So it depends on who you listen to, who you talk to. I have to do it because of... Uh, reasons that I've already stated earlier because the large exits of my intake manifold are so large it will sit over this hole it will sit over the intake um, and cause reversion so I need to, to, to at least go gasket match these and you'll see when I put the gaskets on there's a bit of material to take out just an inch in is all we're going to enlarge yeah, but that's enough for me to put my intake uh, manifold on and pretty much have a, a proper port match um, as I said, because the exits on my intake manifold have been hogged out by the previous owner, it will sit around this. Okay, and when air is coming through there, it will just hit on the sides here. It will go in, obviously, in the middle, but then you, you're going to have the risk of reversion. So I have to open these up a little bit for my uh, intake manifold. That'll be in the next video. And until I see you in that video, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.